أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The questioner asked about a penalty to befall the unbelievers the which there is none to ward off a penalty from Allah Lord of the ways of ascent the angels and the spirit ascend unto him in a day the measure whereof is as fifty thousand years therefore do you hold patience a patience of beautiful contentment they see the day indeed as a far off event but we see it quite near the day that the sky will be like molten brass and the mountains will be like wool and no friend will ask after a friend though they will be put in sight of each other the sinner's desire will be with that he could redeem himself from the penalty of that day by sacrificing his children his wife and his brother his kindred who sheltered him all all that is on earth so it could deliver him by no means for it would be the fire of hell plucking out his being right to the skull inviting all such as turn their backs and turn away their faces from the right and collect wealth and hide it from use truly man was created very impatient fretful when evil touches him and negatively when good reaches him not so those devoted to prayer those who remain steadfast to their prayer and those in whose wealth is a recognized right for the needy who asks and him who is prevented for some reason from asking and those who hold to the truth of the day of judgment and those who fear the displeasure of their lord for their lord's displeasure is the opposite of peace and tranquility and those who guard their chastity except with their wives and the captives whom their right hands possess for then they are not to be blamed but those who trespass beyond this are transgressors and those who respect their trusts and covenants and those who stand firm in their testimonies and those who guard the sacredness of their worship such will be the honored ones in the gardens of bliss Now what is the matter with the unbelievers that they rush madly before you from the right and from the left in crowds does every man of them long to enter the garden of bliss by no means for we have created them out of the base matter they know now i do call to witness the lord of all points in the east and the west that we can certainly substitute for them better men than they and we are not to be defeated in our plan so leave them to plunge in vain talk and play about until they encounter that day of theirs which they have been promised the day whereon they will issue from their sepulchers in sudden haste as if they were rushing to a goal post fixed for them eyes lowered in dejection ignominy covering them all over such is the day the which they are promised